know what you did reminded me of this quote that went like, if you don't have a seat at the table, you can carry your own seat. And that's exactly what you did, and that is really admirable. And uh, this is all happening in just a year, guys. Having land in Zambia and rocking Ethiopia is pretty great. So let's get into the questions from the audience. I bet you have a lot of questions running in your mind, so I think I have time for two or three. So let's, all right, I see a hand over there. Let me start with you. Uh, the question is, uh, so when you're purchasing paper, uh, prices are, they happen to be a problem for most. So is Zafri expected to be priced higher or lower than these companies since, uh, is there a high manufacturing cost? I'm not sure, so that's the question. Um, okay, uh, let me make it very clear for you guys. Right now when we start, uh, what we are going to manufacture is going to be the pulp for the paper as a start because the paper industry is really big so you have to start small. Well, it's not very small but at least we have to reduce it to the pulp. Pulp means the raw material, the direct raw material for the paper. Uh, but still, the paper is cheaper than the wood, the, the paper that is manufactured from the wood and also the pulp is cheaper from uh, the, the wood uh, pulp. So we're gonna do the virgin pulp which makes a very good quality paper. So we're going to be selling, we're going to be integrating with paper factories. We're going to be selling for the paper factories uh, that are found, that are based in Ethiopia. And also if uh, things work out, we're also thinking to export in uh, East Africa paper manufacturers. Um, yeah. Okay, great. Next question. All right, I see a hand over there. Uh, well, I think your question is uh, whenever you start uh, using West products for a different, I mean, for further production, the West product price will rise because the, the demand will be higher. Uh, yeah, well, that's, that's going to be a, a problem. But as I said, I always uh, like to think the worst case scenario. That's one of the worst case scenarios. Um, so for this... Um, the solution we're trying to have actually, uh, okay, for the paper, what we use is a uh, straw. If you know straw, like uh, we buy it from the small farmers, which is uh, straw, wheat straw, if you know, li like uh, chid, that's what we use. Uh, so we buy it from small farmers. Uh, so when we buy from the small farmers, uh, well, as it is, there's a demand for, for straw. When we buy it from the, small, from the small farmers, when there's a higher demand for this, when we start using it, well, they're gonna think, okay, there's a bigger demand, so we can always raise the price. Raise the price. Uh, but uh, these farmers, we're planning to have a different model. We're going to have a hydroponic technology, which is also a solution for livestock feed because these farmers also use this uh, live I mean this uh, straw for livestock feed so it's not the best livestock feed so we want them to have the best uh, livestock feed uh, using a hydroponic technology which is hydroponic technology is uh, more of a, a planting with uh, only water there's no uh, soil or anything you just use uh, water with all the nutrients in it. So that uh, is going to give them a better livestock feed, which will be a business for them as well. You get me? They can also use it for themselves. They can also sell the feed. So the value of this thing for a feed will be minimized somehow. I don't know if I'm answering your question. Yeah, so we're gonna be having different uh, solutions and we're also going to have our own price we're going to give them a price. This is the price we'll be buying. So they have to sell it with that price. Uh, yeah, these are the two solutions that we're thinking now. But also this hydroponic thing is going to be our model. If this, this things come, we're going to engage them with the hydroponic technology, which is also a best practice for them and also a very good uh, business as well. 
That's pretty amazing. It's really amazing how uh, Zafri is not only solving one of the biggest problems in the world, but it's also creating opportunities for farmers. So that's pretty admirable. All right, guys, so we don't have time, sadly, to take any more questions. But I promise you that BT will be around after the event, so you can reach her during the networking session. But now, uh, let's give a big round of applause to Betty and him one more time.